Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. I just received the Timeless Watch. This is a super unique piece and tonight we're gonna review it. Here is the pouch that the Timeless Watch arrived in. It's really cool. I like this pouch. It unsnaps, and there's the watch. And here we have the Timeless Watch. It is a solid piece, definitely modern size. The strap that's on it really works well with the aesthetic of this watch. I like the color of the stitching and the dark, dark brown of the strap just looks really good with some of this brassy, rose goldish colors that are here and there. And this is a quality strap. You can see how thick it is, but it really isn't stiff at all. Really nice strap. It's a 22 millimeter strap, so it's substantial and in fitting with the rest of the watch. It has sort of a faux bar lugs here. They don't quite look like they're actually a bar, but that's fine. And you see that the base has sort of a ring around there of that brassy rose gold type metal there. They're brushed. The sides of the case are brushed as well. Over on this side, we have a plate. And it says HMS number 002. And I believe that denotes the reference number. On their website, you'll note that they have photos of a watch with a 001 on there, which is the reference of that watch. So this one is the 002. And that plate actually doesn't look too bad there. I'm usually really not into details on the side of a case, like where brands will etch their name in there. But because this is a plate that's kind of bolted on there, it looks kind of cool. And looking at the case back, it's a little uh, scratched up here. This is a piece that's sent around for people to review, so it has been used. And we have this little logo here, which shows up a couple other places on this watch. And then some simple text around the edge there. Everything is brushed down here. It's not a terribly tall watch, which is cool. It's not super thick. And looking at the crown, that is a complicated crown. So we have that same symbol we see on the bottom right here in two different types of metal. And there's a third type of metal here for the knurling. And when you look at it straight on, it looks like a watch gear. That is cool. All right, so let's see what it's like to use this crown. So we'll wind it up. Now again, this is a piece that's being sent out for people to experience and to review. And that may be why this crown feels a little creepy when you're winding it up. So it's not terribly smooth to wind this. It kind of gets easy and more difficult randomly. And it may just be that it's been around to many different hands and just kind of seen some use in its life as a review watch. But it does wind up just fine. And this is an automatic watch, so you're only going to have to do that when you wake it up. So that's fine. We'll pop this crown out. Nice. And you can see in the center there, there's that same symbol that we see on the crown and on the case back. Kind of a gear. And it moves with the hour hand. Let's flip this around. You'll notice at the six we have a date window that just crossed over. We'll come back to that in a moment. So we see that the movement does hack. Let's go ahead and set this date here. So the cool thing is that date wheel matches the dial color. That is awesome. And I like how it's just a small circular opening there. All right. One quirky thing about it is you'll notice that it says date under the date. Not sure why you have to call out the date there, but it's really subtle, which is cool. You barely even notice it unless you're looking for it. 
It's cool how the date window is a design element. That is my major beef with date wheels in general, is they almost look like an afterthought. But this one really fits in pretty well. The crystal is very slightly domed. It's sapphire. I love the font that they went with on this. So around the edge there, we have that great, almost stencil very retro looking font, which is the goal of this watch. The idea was to create a modern watch that has a bit of vintage touches to it. So it's like a modern vintage watch. The hands are pretty unique and crazy. They're skeletonized. They aren't quite breguet, but there are little circles in there. And they're done in that same kind of rose gold color there. The branding is over here and it's applied. I also really like that guilloche pattern in the middle. That is really well done. There's so many interesting elements on this dial. It's pretty cool. You can see that there's some depth there around the outer ring and then it drops down into the guilloche area. Meanwhile, the branding is at yet another level there. I'm personally not a huge fan of open heart type complications. This is much less painful than most being dead center there. It's a lot more tolerable to be able to see that, uh, that gear that moves with the hour hand in the middle. If it was down below or up at the top, personally, that would drive me nuts, but that is just me. Here we have an interesting bezel. It is also brushed and has rivets in there. Back in my nautical obsessed days, I would have absolutely loved that bezel. This watch would actually be really tempting back in those days, just because of the nautical touches to it. It just kind of looks a little old school and yet not. You can see that there isn't any loom on here, but yeah, super cool looking. And again, this thing is just solid. It's kind of classy as it looks. It is absolutely a tool watch. I mean, this is a solid chunk of metal here. As for the specifications on this watch, the reference is 002. The price is just under $1,500. So it is a little bit steep in price, but yeah. The case size is 41 and a half millimeters. The case height is 12.8 millimeters. The lug to lug is 47 millimeters. The lug width is 22 millimeters. The case material is stainless steel. The crystal is sapphire. The crown is push pull. And the movement inside this watch is an STP 1 11. The water resistance is 50 meters. All right, so let me take off my gold Wittenauer watch and we'll see what it's like to wear the timeless watch. And here is the timeless watch on my 7-inch wrist. It's cool how it has almost like a classy tough look to it. That's pretty cool. And this strap is really comfortable. It's crazy how comfortable this strap is. It's not overly tall. It's larger than I personally prefer. But I think it fits my wrist okay. The lugs are not overhanging there, as you can see. Super unique aesthetic to this watch. And that guilloche pattern really is pretty amazing. Just look at that. I think the guilloche pattern there and the font are my two favorite elements of this watch. They have another variant where that outer ring is a light color, and that's pretty cool too. I kind of like the tuxedo-y style dials. Not a surprise, given how obsessed I am with the pole router, but I kind of like the outer ring aesthetic that watches like this have. And I feel like that crown might be the most complicated crown I've ever seen. That is just crazy. And it's so cool that it looks like a gear from dead on like that. I really appreciate the uniqueness of this watch. I'm not sure if it's stretching it at that asking price though. I feel like under a thousand dollars, like an 800, 900 might be a better price for this piece, but 
I don't know exactly what went into it, so I'm just going from a consumer's point of view, having experienced Christopher Ward's that fall within that price range, I feel like this is kind of on par with those. But that could be just me. It is a nice piece. Very cool. If you're intrigued by this watch and want to check it out further, I've included a link to it in the description below. I do not get paid by this brand or anything like that, so I'm not trying to peddle it on you or anything like that. But if you do like it, there's a link down below. So there you have it, the timeless watch. This thing is really unique. I really like that dial and the font that they used on there is super fun. Thanks so much to the folks over at Timeless Watch for sending this into the channel so that I can experience it and share it with you all. Thanks for watching.